What up, people? It's your boy, Master Chudy, out here with another comic review. And yes, I'm back. I'm settled, and I'm ready to do this review thing. And now we've got the copy we've all been waiting for. I have to go buy myself a physical copy because, man, I've been waiting for the Batman who laughs. The man who laughs, man. He has been a figurehead, the mastermind. And we get to finally see him in action. And we just see him in all of his deathly glow. With his uh, Robins right here. So, let's get into it. So, we begin with the Batman who laughs. He expounds, saying, like, I know you feel scared right now. You don't need to pretend I see you trembling. You don't know why I brought you here. But you know the answer can't be good, and you're right, it's not. You really thought you had it figured out. That you knew every combination in the deck... And it would thrill and you and it would thrill you every time you were right when the hand came down in the familiar pattern, a familiar story. About an outsider who can see the good in all of us. About how we all have the power to fight for what is right. Or how we can overcome our darkest moments. But this isn't any of those stories, and there are familiar there are familiar parts, but they're all in the wrong places. And there's nothing more frightening than when all the cards are laid out on the table just right. But then another card comes and changes the meaning of the entire hand. And there's no way to know what's going to happen. And we see the Joker. So we gotta go back and see his origin. So, we're on Earth 22. Negative 22. Many years ago. And we see Gotham is burning. And the Joker has systematically destroyed every single city systematically killing everybody he has killed jim gordon he has killed jim gordon and tells batman that yeah i i melted his eyes and i melted his jaw and i killed him and i saved his glasses and his pipe for you oh god the joker has now gone off the deep end and then um there and then we see that sh- See, see, Bats, we're running out of time, you and me. We need to evolve and fast, or we'll miss our chance. There is no by the book anymore. I threw out the damn thing and burned it. Every story, every character, every, every, every character, one by one. All the cops, all the villains, looking for that breaking point. The joke, too far. It has to exist, Bruce. I know it does. Well, tonight, I'm going to tell it. I'll shout it from the damn rooftops. Can you hear me, Batman? Can you? So it seems that like the Joker has discovered... Bruce's identity, but you know, he still calls him Batman, and then we see here, the Batman Who Laughs, James Tinian from the fourth, it's the writer, Riley Rosmo, the artist, Ivan Palencia as the colors, Tom Palatano, the letters, Jason Fabok, the cover, Dave uh, Wilgos, the assistant editor, Rebecca Taylor, the associate editor, and of course, uh, Eddie Paganta, who has been uh, disgraced, for all we know, the editor. So, let's move on. So, we see that, um, we see family coming up, it's like, oh... Dear, what's that now? A lovely young family heading back from the theater. And we see that Joker knows Bruce. Well, of course, since he knows that he's Bruce Wayne, he knows his uh, tragic origin. He's saying, oh, I know what happens next. Blam, bam, kills the girl's parents. And she's just shocked. But Joker comes in like, hey, hey, but wouldn't you, don't be, you don't need your mommy and daddy. You're going to be the first citizen of a brand new Gotham made from the best of him and the best of me. Doesn't that sound wonderful? We see her crying. Boy, Joker soon. And she starts going crazy. And we see that Joker has a whole family, a whole assembly line of families ready for him to kill and convert. And of course, this is too much for Batman, where he breaks his chains. And the Joker's like, and here we go. Judgment's like, Joker! It's like, Joker, stop. It's like, never. It's like, it's like never. I'll never stop. And then, boom. And we, we, the usual Batman stick just beats the crap out of Joker. Boom, boom, boom. Teeth are flying out everywhere. It's like, I'll keep coming this way now. It's like, your family, next. And uh, Batman's like, no, you'll stop. And then we see more teeth are flying. It's like, oh, never. You don't, you still don't have the guts, Bruce, do you? It's going to be you and me together for snap. <laughs> And then we just see some weird gas coming out. Ominous. But yeah, Batman was like, he's like, stop, man. Just stop, man. So he's had enough. He's killed the Joker. Then we see a Superman with Batman a few, two days later. 
And we see that um, all the children that uh, Batman had um, saved from Joker, even though he was too late to reverse it. He um, He's saying that the chemicals were killing the Joker, so he wanted to find a way to push him before he died. You know, maybe a one last vote. Hurrah. Superman actually was all right. Batman is reaffirming, like, you know, I'm not going to slide. It's like, it's like, I'm not going to slide down that path. It's like, I'm not sorry the Joker's dead, but I'm not going to become, give him the satisfaction of becoming what he wanted me to be. And then Superman's like, okay, that's cool. Then he knows Superman is like, yeah, we went to Star Labs. We are trying to find a way to cure him. But, and then he's saying, like, he said he wanted to um, make something new. The best of me and him, both of our traumas. And Batman's like, I don't think this can be cured. And Superman's like, I don't believe anyone's beyond saving. But then uh, Superman here says, like, I'll be administering their treatment myself. They need to deal with someone they can't hurt. A psychologist spoke to me, spoke to one of them this afternoon, and she tried to bite her throat out. And then we just see Batman laugh. Huh? And Superman's like, whoa, 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 bro, what the heck? And he's like, um, no, I'm sorry, that wasn't funny. I'm, I'm, I'm good. But we all know what's happening. Three days later, we see that uh, we're in a training session. Everybody's training. We see Nightwing... Uh, Batgirl, and I believe this is Tim Drake. Yeah, this is Tim Drake. And then um, we see that you've got to be chick. You see Batgirl's like, you got to be kidding me. More robots? Signalman has a training co- protocol lasted three hours. What I want to know, Batgirl, is what Robin did to get out of the sparring session from hell. Nightwing, I think they added a new difficulty level. They've never been this dangerous before. Watch out. It's like, no kidding, Red Robin. We still need a strategy. Don't look at me. It's bulletproof. And, you know. <clears throat> so this is Tim Drake. So Tim Drake is also there. It's like, this is Batman we're talking about. You're going to need to shut it down manually. Manually. So they um, they take down the robot, but Nightwing's like, something's wrong. Talk to us, Bruce. We're family. And it's like, you're right, Dick. It's like, I've been stalling, but there's no hiding the tr- from the truth. When I, when I killed the Joker, I was infected with a new strain of a nanotoxin unlike anything I've seen before. It's like it was all there. It was all there all along, and his heart more violent than anything he'd ever unleashed. Trapped in his cells, harmless unless, like he died. It's like yes, Barbara. As soon as the narcosis hit, the toxin was released, just enough to infect one person in close proximity. And then he's like Bruce. Like it's been working. It's been at work for nearly a week, rewiring my mind to make it more like his. If all the process is allowed to run its course, I have the same highly ordered mind I always had, with the moral core replaced with something evil. It was his last wish that whoever killed him would become him. Have you told anyone else? No. I wanted to be sure, Tim. I confirmed my suspicions earlier tonight and called all of you here. And then Nightwing is like, the training, it wasn't for the usual villains, was it? You're making sure that we're ready to fight you. God, Bruce, we're not going to fight you. We're going to help you. It's like, it's like, okay, let's, let's the problem solve. We need a prison that you can't break until we find a cure. Then Tim Drake mentions, what about the Phantom Zone? It's like, no, that won't work. Well, then we'll find another way. Look, we're all trained by the world's greatest detective. None of us are going to rest until, like, until you're going to, until you're put right. And if you're worried about the city, we'll work in shifts and help them through the chaos post-Joker. And then Batman's like, no, you don't understand. And then Batgirl's like, yes, we do. We've, we've all been hurt by that monster before. It's like, this is, just the, this is just one of the Joker's games, the last one. You prepared us for this. And then he's like, I know. That's why I brought you here. And then Jason's like, well, well, we're here to help. No, not to help, Jason. I brought you here because the four of you would notice something was wrong with me before anyone else would. And I'm sorry, but I can't allow that. And Bruce, what are you? What are you doing? Bam! Blam, blam, blam. Just, just wastes them all. It's like something you weren't prepared for. <laughs> just laughing. So he kills Barbara. He kills Dick Grayson. He kills Jason Todd. And he kills Tim Drake. He killed three of his first protégés and then Batgirl. Wicked, wicked man. Terrible. Meanwhile, at the Watchtower, a week later, and then we just see, I've been thinking a lot about these past few days about the man I was, Bruce. And then we just see Superman. I don't know what he did to his eyes, but they're bloody. But we just see everybody in the Justice League has been messed up. I mean, look at Martian Manhunter. Uh, Mr. Terrific's head is missing, and I, I, I don't know what. Wonder Woman's dead. These seem to be Golden Age uh, looks. Flash is over there, and that's Hawkman. And uh, 
Plastic Man is just uh, stretched out to, like, death. It's like, I remember how I justified bringing them. It's like, I just walked through the Justice League trophy room, and it struck me how many weapons we've gathered over the years. It's like, I, ju I remember how I justified bringing them here. You thought they should be destroyed, but I pushed. I wanted to know how they worked. And I do, Superman. I know how they. I know how to operate doomsday machines that could level cities in seconds. They used to keep me up at night, but I didn't know why. Now that my mind's been put right, I finally understand it's so simple. I wanted to use them, Clark. I wanted to use each and every one of them. And Superman is like, but why? Why have you done this? The same reason, because I want. To, because I want to. Because I don't have to hold back anymore. And we see that this Batman suit is green, black and green, representing the Joker. It's like, hell, I'm disappointed I only get to do this once. Do you know how many, do you realize how many ways I know how to kill you? It's like, the people, they'll see you for what you are. They'll fight back. And they were just about saying, hey, they better. What fun would it be if they didn't fight back? Then we see that, uh, we see Lois and uh, John, poor John. It's like, oh God, Clark, what has he done? It's like, dad, my eyes, something's wrong with my eyes. I'm scared. And then we just see, uh, why don't you pull out the old Superman magic? Puff out that old chest of yours and tell your wife and son that it's going to be all right. That the good guys are going to win in the end. And we just see it devolving into more evil. And it's like, I won't cheapen what I stand for. I won't lie to my family. Oh, that's okay. It's like, you can lie to mine. And then we just see all, we just see all of these uh, Robins right here. It's like, Father... Can I play with John now? Oh my gosh, what type of nightmare fuel is this? Oh my gosh. And then he's like, you did this to your own son? It only took a little push, and he did it him to himself. Gave me the idea for what I'm going to do to you. This is a modified strand of black kryptonite. When I tested it on Supergirl, she ripped her family apart before it killed her. It's like, Bruce, you don't have to do this. I know. Catch. <laughs> We just see the transformation, like, uh, and they kill Lois, both John and Clark, and of course they die. And you just see, you just see, uh, Bat, the man who laughs now. It's the Batman who laughs. It's like, just keeps like, it was really simple. It was simple, really, killing my world. So we see that his world doesn't seem to have been devolved into some type of chaos. He knowingly destroyed his own world. No matter what they threw at me, armies, villains, alien tyrants, the wrath of God, they were all just problems to solve one by one methodic methodically, with precision and blood. Until the world was ash under my feet. Until the firmament began to shake and cosmic nothing swallowed everything I knew. It felt right. I served my greater purpose. There was no lower to sink. Or was there? Boom! <laughs> Barbatos is here. Let me see that. Barbato showed me the dark multiverse, volatile, roiling with cosmic history. It was beautiful. I saw how small I had been thinking. There were countless of worlds left to kill, and no, and one world above them all where Batman lived. The Batman. Barbato said I was the perfect weapon to unleash upon this world, to drag it kicking and screaming into the dark. But I wouldn't do it alone. And how how could any world survive the likes of us? The likes of me. So we get back to our Magic Scare Puppet and just look at this evil, evil guy. And he's like, I think he understood on some level the Joker. Not entirely, of course. He was too single-minded for that, but he saw the potential. He saw that the two of us were incomplete without the other. He knew that we needed to evolve into something new together. Something more. He used to call me a bat king, ruling over my dark kingdom. And what is a king, really? It is a powerful card, the highest valued face of the deck. Not infallible, to be sure, but potent. And the joker card, on its own, it has no inherent value. It's defined by what it's played against, dangerous in its potential more than anything. But if you hold the two together in my hand, they... They can hold nearly any value. They can shift and adapt to the threats they face. And so can I. That's what's so frightening, isn't it? You've played this game so many times. 
and we see that he's talking to somebody. Who is this person? Could it be back? It's probably Bruce. Or it'd be interesting if it was somebody else. I'm curious, but it might be Bruce. But anyway, it's like, isn't it... Isn't it? You've played this game so many times, and you can see the cards on the table. You know that I've already won against any hand you could play against me. But you haven't put together how I'm going to do it yet. We just see the guy struggling. It's like, the heroes are nearly dead already. Their cities have fallen. The whole world has begun to sink into infinite, into the infinite dark below. How could it get worse? What else could we have up our sleeves? And he just cuts his face right here. Oh, he, well, he cuts the bandits open. You don't see, you don't want to see, don't you? You're terrified, but you're just dying to find out. Here, let me show you. You see a burning card, and we see a weirdly odd splash page about how sake they're coming. Every nightmare this multiverse has ever had. They are armed, ready for an invasion, waiting for the door to open, waiting for my command. And they see a cheetah, Wonder Woman, a parasite, Superman, a super dark side, um, crazy, um, crazy, uh, black canary, another version of Wonder Woman. We see a power girl, a demonic green lantern. Everybody's coming, a doomsday of some sorts, everybody. And so we see that when I be when I was Bruce Wayne, I thought with enough preparation I would always win, but I was wrong. I was trapped in an unwinnable war, refusing to see the obvious answers right in front of me. The answers that are so clear to me now with victory right around the corner. To win you need to adapt, and to adapt you need to be able to laugh. Away all restraints, everything holding you back. You see, a Batman who laughs is always a Batman who wins. And he laughs and laughs and laughs. And we're going to see him in Metal 4. And of course they saved the best tie-in for last. This was fantastic. I recommend you buy this book. DC's been hitting it out of the park with these metal books. And I have to say I'm impressed. So, thank y'all for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notifications. Make sure you're subscribed and noti and you are notified so you can get my videos. Once again, I do these videos for you, the people, because I want to get my views out there and enjoy good comics with y'all and discuss. So, thank y'all, thank y'all for watching again, and I'll have more videos up later today.